acknowledgement has kind of a continuum, kind of a spectrum. It is the basis for developing relationships. All it is is, I see you. It's eye contact. It's, I, I see you. Oh, hey, you know. That's all it is, is acknowledging that they are there and that they did something. It's the very beginning. It's not the whole relationship. It's just basically, are you there? The middle of acknowledgement is even a little bit more than that. It's got a slight judgment to it, where I see what you did, and I'm going to give you a little feedback. Was that good, or was that not good, as good? And it might have that. So that's where the bias lives. When I deliver training, I'm very, very careful about giving feedback and making sure it's equal. So if I say, excellent, and then I say, that was good, <laughs> okay, that's not the same. And so I want to be equal. That's where that judgment part comes in. And then, of course, the unproductive side of acknowledgement is, um, where you don't mean it, and you're just trying to get something out of it. So it has that unproductive range in there. And just be careful about the judging middle part. Sometimes it's important to guide people and give them feedback to go in a certain direction. That's okay, but make sure that you're doing that in an equitable way. Uh, so when I praise in a training se session, I praise usually as a group. That way everybody's getting the, whole, the same good job or the same excellent. Y'all are doing great, <laughs> y'all. You know, because when I start singling out individuals, then we have that, uh, that inequity starts to come up. And I want to be very careful about that in a training uh, talent development.